Okay, so I'm going to try and make this video as fast as possible and try and keep it short. So hopefully I can get it up tonight, which is the 14th, so if I do that, yay me. Anyways, I wanted to talk about Black Cat Annual Numero Uno. Did I say that right? I hope so. So, as many of you probably know, I am literally obsessed with Black Cat. Like, it's unhealthy. <laughs> And despite my obsession with Black Cat, I was a dummy and did not add the annual to my poll list. I don't know why. I was just an idiot and I didn't add it. So I kind of forgot about it for a little while because, you know, busy with work and stuff. But I got home from work early one day and I just had this feeling like, didn't Black Cat annual number one come out today? And I opened Instagram and there's a post from Todd Nock who did a variant cover for Black Cat annual number one and he's like, hey, it's out today. Go get it. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, it's out today. And I didn't add it to my pull list. I better go get it. So then I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll wait until Kane gets home and he comes over because we usually go to the comic book store together. And I was like, you know what? I bet you they didn't get a lot in. And whether they did or not, I bet you it's going to go somewhat fast. I should just go get it. So I make my way to the comic book store. And as I was pulling up, there were like a bunch of other people pulling up at the same time. So I was like, shh. Shoot, it's busy. I really hope there are some left. And so as soon as I walked in through the doors, I just went like straight booked it for the, the new comic book shelf. And there were two, there were two annuals left on the shelf. One is the J. Scott Campbell, like original cover. And the other one was the Todd Knock cover. And I want, I needed both. I needed both. So without even thinking, I just, I walked straight up there. I grabbed them. I walked to the till and I paid. I didn't even look at any other comics. I was like, my heart was racing. I was like, holy crap, I got the last two. <laughs> And so I was like, it is a dang good thing that I came when I did. And after all that, later that night, I get a call from the guy who owns the shop. And he's like, hey, we have a black cat annual on pull here for you. And I was like... So I have the regular black cat line on pull, but for some reason I didn't think that the annual would also be pulled for me. So I just told him, I was like, hey, I was actually in the store already today and I grabbed some off the shelf, so... Yeah, he's like, okay, we'll just put this one on the shelf. So, there's me being an idiot, but, oh my god, I'm sorry. But, I know for a fact that they probably only pulled the standard cover for me, and I wanted the Todd Knock one as well. I needed the Todd Knock one as well. So, if I hadn't gone when I did, I wouldn't have gotten the Todd Knock cover. I would have only gotten the J. Scott Campbell one. So, I'm still glad I went when I did. Also, Kane and I ended up going back there later that night once Kane was off work and there were none on the shelf. So the one that he put back on the shelf from my poll was gone as well. So I, I, I know they were selling. Anyways, that's my little story. Now I'm going to talk about the actual book itself. So here are my two lovely annual books. The J. Scott Campbell standard cover and the Todd Knock variant. I haven't even like opened the pages in this one. I've only read this one. I do that with a lot of like, I, I just, why would I open up this one when I have the standard one that I can just read through? I'll just leave it how it is. Same with um, the little codes inside so you can download the comic books digitally. I always take it out of the standard cover and then I just leave the variant ones fully intact. So first off, I just want to mention that I absolutely loved the story in the annual. I just thought it was so like bittersweet just like watching the dynamic between Felicia and Peter. Cause like I understand they're not good together but damn are they just cute when they interact with each other. It's just adorable and I love it. And this is gonna be spoiler free I guess but basically the ending of the comic book was also just so heartwarming. It was just good. Lots of goodness in it. I was happy with it. It just made me, it made me feel sad, but it made me feel happy at the same time. And overall, I just enjoyed it. I also want to mention the art in it. Specifically the art by this guy. I don't know how to say his last name and I don't want to even try and butcher it and feel horrible. So, voila. He did all of the art of Felicia and Peter throughout the comic book and it is just so nice. Like I love how he drew both of them. They just look so dang good. I especially love Felicia's face and he draws with a lot of expression and he does his rewind. He does his expressions really well. And I will insert a couple of panels, some of my favorite panels in here, um, without like spoiling anything because the art is just so nice. He was also like 
crazy expressive with uh, Spider-Man's eyes on his suit, which I just love when they do that because it just adds so much more to the character, I feel. And I really don't want to be a dink, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of the inside art in the main Black Cat series. As an artist myself, I appreciate all types of art. Everyone's got their own style and that's awesome. But also as, you know, the consumer for this product, I'm just not a huge fan of the art in the book. And that's nothing against the artist because again, like all artists are important and all artists have their own style, but not a huge fan. And I just really, really love the artist that they picked for the annual. I don't really have much more to say besides that. I love the story, I love the art, and that's it. I was stressed as heck trying to get the book, <laughs> but it all worked out in the end. If you happen to pick up the annual as well, feel free to like talk to me in the comments about what you thought about it, whether it's like about the story or the art, or maybe give your opinion on what you think of the, the main series art. Because again, I'm really not trying to be an a-hole about it. I just, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about it. Anywho. Feel free to comment down below. I try to reply back to everyone because like I, I don't have a lot of follow or followers. I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of subscribers right now, but there are the few of you that tend to comment pretty regularly, so I try to reply to everyone. There might be like one or two that I missed. But yeah, and I really, really appreciate you guys, and I try to watch other people's videos too that I subscribe to. I am a fairly busy person, but I'm trying my best here. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. I don't like that angle. There we go. <laughs>